Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your Apple Watch. Now, you can do this from your app on your phone. Remember that? So, just tap here. And once you click there, just look for something that says settings. So, here are my settings. Just tap on them. From your settings, all you have to do is scroll down and you're going to see general. Under general, software update will be your second option. From here, you should see the latest one, automatic updates. I highly suggest turning that off if you don't already have it off. Hopefully, if you're watching this, it's off. But anyways, right now, go ahead and press on install. And yes, you will have to go into your phone and accept the terms and conditions. Just press OK. And then from your phone, you can keep going. So technically, on your phone, you're supposed to get a pop-up like so. So you can put not now or opening app. You want to open it up. Now, let's say you guys don't see this on your phone yet. So I'm going to put not now just so I can show you. Go right into the watch right here app. From here, you're going to go into general. Same thing, second option, it's gonna say software update. And then finally, you're gonna see the latest update. Just press agree on the bottom right hand side of your screen. And here it is. So while you're doing any update, I highly suggest just hooking up your Apple Watch to the charger. So it just charges meanwhile you're doing this. But anyways, if you scroll down, you're gonna see install. Just tap on install all the way down, put in your passcode. Then it's gonna say verifying and just wait for it. It's going to be a pretty fast update and any update I would suggest always having up here your options for automatic updates turned off and same goes especially with beta updates turned off if you don't want to have any issues. It's also a good idea to wait for updates. So don't just update to the latest thing right away. Always wait and see if it makes sense for you and you want to update it. For a lot of you, there's no need to do that. So just wait for it. Sometimes glitches get patched up later on and later on it's when you want to update anyways on your apple watch right now what you should be see is this apple logo and that's basically your loading bar that's the equivalent to a loading bar when you're updating your iphone or ipad is this circle so just wait for it and let it be so at the very end you should see something like so just put in your passcode and again you should see something like so press start and you can learn a little bit more about it sure why not just press here and you are done with this update also, if you press down here below, it's going to show you that you see that. And that's it. It's going to give you a quick tutorial of new things that you can do. So, for example, if you do that, you're going to be able to see all this stuff. It's awesome. Just press this again to get back to normal. And that's it. But anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.